My name is Palmer Lucky. I'm the founder of Oculus. At some point, there will be diminishing returns, and we're not going to bother to get the last 5%. But uh, it, it, we've got a long way before we get there. And until we get there, there's huge steps that can be made every few years, unlike game consoles or traditional gaming. It's not necessarily clear. I mean, on the one hand, there will be the motivation to do that, but whether the technology exists to do it is, is another question. I mean, we've moved really fast over the last few years because a lot of what we've doing, it's honestly just been obvious stuff. Like, making a good tracking system has been feasible for years. It's just now that we've, it's only just now that we've really put, started putting in the effort to make it happen. We're kind of out of obvious jumps. You know, we're at the limits of display technology, we're at the limits of tracking technology, or at the limits of GPU horse, you know, of GPU rendering technology, there's not any huge immediate jumps left. So we are going to continue to progress, but I don't know if it'll necessarily happen faster than the PC games industry as a whole. But the PC games industry moves very quickly. I mean, look at the games from five years ago, or even uh, further back. Go look back ten years, and you know, you're, you can be amazed. You'll be amazed at how fast things have evolved. Like look at Half Life Two, and then what we have now. It's a very large leap. Consoles haven't really been jumping as fast, but they're kind of in their own separate track away from PC. It's not a priority for us to do you know, medical or military or any of these other applications because there's people who are going to take care of that perfectly fine. Our core business model is building something that will be used by eventually hundreds of millions or billions of people. And you know, small applications like medical training, as interesting as they are and as good for society as they are, don't get you to that. They are, you know, just look at the medical industry, it's usually low volume, very high profit, very expensive, and that's just not the direction we're trying to take our business. We're going to make it as low cost and affordable as we can. People are going to get a really good deal on, like, what, what they get for the money is going to be, it's going to be a good value.